Okay, welcome back guys to this um, section where we are going to look at editing the Dokkan vendor dashboard and essentially we're going to look at editing you know the menu item basically we want to know how to hide or disable some of these menu items okay like I said in the main tutorial that a lot of these items are not exactly required or you may not um, want all of them displayed on your um, on your vendor dashboard okay so let's look at how we can you know disable some of these um, options here so I am going to go to the back end of the website and I would first of all look for a plugin I would go to plugins and I'll click on add new And this time I'm going to search for Dokkan menu hider. So the, the search the search term is Dokkan menu hider. So it's the only plugin on the WordPress repository. Okay, so um let's just install it. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and activate it. Okay, so having activated the plugin, um, we need to come to Dokkan and click on settings. So um, if we scroll down, we would be able to locate the Dokkan menu hider. So um, let me just quickly look for it. So essentially we need to come to Dokkan settings and selling options. So when you click on selling options, scroll down and you should see hide vendor dashboard menu. Okay, so this is like a list of the um, menus on the vendor dashboard. Okay, so products, important, order, withdrawal, coupons. Well, you may not want to, you know, want to work with having, you know, your vendors create coupons yet. Reviews, well, maybe important. Reports, um, maybe I'm gonna hide this. And then payment, shipping, okay. Maybe I'm going to hide shipping. Social, SEO, staff, return request. Um, I may want to hide this as well. I may just want to manage, you know, the return request as the owner of the platform. And then REMA settings. So I'll hide this as well. And then I'll click on save changes. All right, so coupons, reports have been hidden. So now let's go back to our vendor and refresh the page. So you can see we have a much smaller, um, you know, we have a much smaller menu size, okay? So I may want to hide the support I may, um, you know, just want to handle the support myself. So maybe I'll just hide the support and I'll go back to the admin and I'll look for support. Okay, so there's no support here apparently. Let me just see that again. Okay, so I can't hide that from here. So in subsequent tutorials, we're going to see um, more customizations we can have on the Dokkan. I'm going to open the settings let's see some of the things we have here okay so payment verification social profile store seo okay all of these are fine you know all of these are fine so um this is the lecture thank you so much for watching this tutorial um i will see you in the next one